I saw there was a Okay, I'm just gonna explain to you guys what happened just now. So basically, um, yesterday I took out my, my tires and the uh, thing is with hydraulic uh, uh, brakes is that once you've taken out your um, tires, uh, you should not press the brake, yeah? Because once you press the brake, then the, uh, the brake system will lock by itself and then you couldn't really put your tires back because your uh, this wouldn't be able to uh, go inside the, uh, the brakes yeah so I had to use YouTube okay battery is almost dead uh, I had to use YouTube and then uh, just just check some videos on YouTube how to how to um, um, solve the issue so yeah so I'm gonna actually solve the issue okay right now I need to pop the uh, tire because it's almost um, I don't say it's flat but but it needs some air yeah. I need some air okay let's let's see where's the uh, So this is the yeah I need I need to pump It's 9 a.m. I have 60 kilometers to go, and it's uh, yeah, it's 9 a.m. Uh, we had a rough start this morning, as you can see just now. My hydraulic brake was having some issue, and I had low air in my tires. I think I spent a half an hour just uh, getting my hydraulic brakes uh, done. Uh, it was a it was a good experience, you know, learning how to repair your, your brakes. I had to use YouTube, but uh, but yeah, we, we got it, managed to repair the thing, and now we're moving. Yeah. So let's continue, and then uh, oh yeah, yeah, and then also one thing, one thing that that is wor that worrying me right now is it's gonna rain this afternoon. Yeah, so I have to be there before it rains. The sky looks not that <laughs> doesn't look that great. Uh, if it happens, I have to use my my raincoat as well as I can't I can't cycle with these shoes. Yeah, we'll get wet for sure. It will get wet for sure. So I need to use my slippers. Uh, yeah, let's let's just continue. Okay, let's just continue. Okay, I have to wash my hands uh, because it's a bit dirty and I need to buy some breakfast here so we're in Caltex uh, somewhere let's go and wash our hands first <laughs> okay I just I just finished with my breakfast and then since uh, since eight something I think I've just cycled for like two kilometers oh my god that's so bad that is not good I'm uh, gonna have to, I'm gonna have to speed up my my speed now. So I can around 20 kilometers per hour. I need to go uh, 25. Oh my god, I have, I have 58 kilometers to go. Yeah, okay, let's let's go, guys. Let's go.
Okay, I still have um, this. This is called Ipoh Lumut Highway. Uh, I think it spans around 40 something kilometers. So I have 37 kilometers to go, yeah. Just on this road. And then once I'm done with this, I have another 20 kilometers to go to my. I think it's a hostel. This time it's gonna be a hostel, yeah. So I've done hotel, I've done homestays. This will be my first hostel. Okay. We're now in Bota. Uh, time is 9:50. Is it? Yeah, it's, we're it, we're in Bota. Yeah, so basically, we're sort of like halfway. The distance between uh, the resort that I was I was uh, yesterday uh, should be around 90 kilometers. So we have another 48 kilometers to go. Yeah. Awesome. Some morning glories. Let's continue. We have shops selling pineapples, mangoes, some some local fruits. I don't know the name. So it's quite quite quiet here we don't see much of activities apart from a lot of cars So this is the uh, this is how the state got its name. So this this river is called Sungai Perak. So the state where I'm in right now is called Perak. So yeah, so the state got its name from this river. It's a big one, yeah. Now we're gonna cross this bridge, and time is 10 a.m. We have another 44 kilometers to go. So and it's getting hotter. Oh, it's hot. It's getting hot. Okay, as I was cycling, okay, as I was cycling, I, I'm actually in front of the uh, 
tomb of the 13th Sultan of the state of Perak. So it says here his name is Sultan Muzaffar Shah the third son of King Mansur 1728 until 1756. Uh, it says here is that just gonna go through. So yeah so this is Bota so this is his tomb. You guys can see. Uh, what else? So he was he was here when we had the uh, the um, what's called the the Netherlands yeah we had the Netherlands so it says here when he became the Sultan he is uh, so there was there was a there was a there was a um, uh, there was a conflict with his younger brother or his older brother to become the king. Okay, so many things yeah <laughs> uh, i think i'm just gonna go on, on 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 wikipedia and then just share the link but you guys can see um so this is from the uh, the national museum of malaysia I'll, I'll put the link in the description it's a bit too long yeah for me to explain but basically this is the uh, tomb of the sultan of the 13th sultan of perak uh, sultan muzaffar shah the third just same i think It was the uh, 13, the tomb of the 13th Sultan. Um, I saw there was a another tomb, but it's of like seven kilometers from here. It was the tomb of the first Sultan of Perak. Yeah, I don't really recall the story, but I think the family, the the, the family of um, the royal family of Perak came from Malacca. If I'm not mistaken, so the fam the the Sultan of the family of uh, the royal family of Malacca got split into a few families, and then uh, some went to Selangor, I think. Then one went to Perak, and uh, basically that's the story. Yeah. So so the family of Perak came from Malacca, yeah. But now Malacca doesn't have any uh, royal family. So, yeah. I need to read back my <laughs> my history book, but that's that's about it. Yeah, basically that's the uh, that's the that's the story. Oh, I'm a bit tired. I'm gonna keep on cycling. So if I see anything uh, interesting, oh, this one, this house looks interesting, and this one as well. You guys can see it. Some traditional houses but yeah so i'm gonna keep on cycling if i see anything interesting i'll show you guys here okay <laughs>